What's up DP? It's me back again with your morning announcements. There's some good stuff to talk about, so let's get right into it. There will be a pinata smackdown in the Greek today during lunch to kick off the start of the Hispanic Heritage Month. Make sure to be there and I'll see you there, Chargers. Today during seminar, a representative from Hampshire College will be in the College Career Center. See you there, Chargers. Beautify DP is being held this Saturday from 9 to 12. Make sure to bring a water bottle and clothes you are willing to get dirty. See you there, Chargers. If you, need turn, if you need tutoring during seminar, here's what you need to do. Sign up online before 8 p.m. with the link shown on the screen. Then go to your regular slash assigned seminar teacher to check in for attendance and pick up your golden ticket. And finally, uh, direct, go directly to the library and turn in your ticket. The only official club meeting today is K-Pop Club. In order to get your club officially announced on DP News, make sure to get your club verified. Go to McDonald's today with your Minga app and get yourself a free small fries from 3 to 5 p.m. See you there, Chargers. If you would like to purchase some DP basketball gear, be sure to visit the team store. Hoods, tops, joggers, bags, shoes, and other items are available. You can scan the QR code on the screen to access the store. The store closes on the 27th. All items will ship to DP. Some, sport, some sports played yesterday, and let's get right into it. Girls Volleyball picked up the broom and swept away the Pacifica Tritons 3-0. Ella Payne went crazy with 24 assists, and as always, Addie, Addie Lowe and Jaden Jones helped the team to get with 13 combined kills. Great job, girls. Girls Golf also played yesterday against Ventura and unfortunately came out with a loss. Our girls tried their best, but it's okay because we'll get them the next one. Finally, football played last night, fought their hardest, but came out with a loss 42-0. It brings our record to 2-2, two and, two, and they hope to come back in the next one. Now here's a video from Micah, Iyad, and Samuel about how the boys prepared for the game last night. Head coach of the Dos Pueblos Chargers, A.J. Pateras, is taking on his former team, the Ventura Cougars. I grew up in that program, uh, playing against um, a school that you went to a school that you coached and a, a school you really grew up in. Um, I think there's a lot of um, pride in how we perform. The way I would plan differently for this game or other games, no, absolutely not. Uh, we prepare every single week um, through countless hours of time and preparation on the field, off the field. Um, he's prepared us for the physicality of the game. I'm really excited going into a tough league opponent. Since this is the toughest matchup of the year going into it, I'm a bit, I'm confident. I'm excited and I am excited to see the competition and how good the other players are. Uh, under coach AJ Pateras, uh, we played decently. They're always a tough team, you know. Um, AJ being over there, he kind of knows a little inside, so um, we always, you know, play pretty tough against them. Any specific strategies? I think the biggest thing we tried to do this week was just teach what they do, how they do it, the philosophy behind it. Um, and since we do have coaches that have played or coached in the systems they're using, um, I think the information we tried to prepare for our players is um, to be focused on what and how they will do it. As the Chargers took on the Cougars, they fought hard and until the end, but couldn't get the win. AJ Pateras and his team look to bounce back next week. I'm Iyad Ahmed Rida reporting for DP News. And that's all for me, DP. I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe and like the video. I'm Jude Cotty, signing off. Okay. Good morning, DP. Happy Friday. Mr. Woodard here with some announcements on this cloudy Friday. First, a huge shout out to our band, Drumline, and our student section last night. The game did not go as we would have wanted, but your energy from the start to the very end inspired all of those that were there, and uh, we were very grateful. Let's keep that energy up for all of our home games this year. Uh, show the Charger pride at every event. So that was awesome. Great job. Keep it up. Uh, second, tomorrow is our Saturday school academic support and beautify DP so if you want to come at 9 o'clock and earn some community service that's a great way to do it and also if you are struggling in your academics or just want some time to get your homework done um, you can come no no reservation needed to come to the library between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow there will be some people there to help support you we do have progress reports going out next week believe it or not in week five so uh, this is time to really buckle down on your grades I want to also highlight a really great event happening 
dropping next Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. We've invited a bunch of our former DP alums that are in college or just recently graduated to give you advice about the college admissions process, what they wish they would have known back in high school, how their college experience was going. We're going to be in the EPAC at 6.30 um, p.m. on Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.30. Come with your questions. Um, I know seniors looking for college app you know, advice would be great, but even ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th graders coming in and learning from some a really great panel of former students who are doing great things in, in college. So that's really exciting. Uh, finally, a reminder from our uh, sheriff that we um, have had some complaints from the neighbors about people speeding in the neighborhood um, and also unsafe bike riding. So uh, we don't like to get those calls from neighbors. We want to be good neighbors. Let's please keep the speed down, keep the noise down at lunchtime if you're walking off campus or driving off campus. Let's be good neighbors for the people that live in this area. Uh, we would really appreciate it. That's the charger way to be respectful. And uh, one of our habits of heart is to be community minded and be aware of helping our community out that could be a way that we could keep everybody safe and also make sure that we are being good neighbors so uh, have a great weekend uh, if you ever have any questions or you have some recommendations for me um, you can always stop by my office or email me I'll be happy to hear from all of our students we, we do a lot of that feedback during our student Senate which will be starting up soon but uh, definitely uh, you can always reach out to me if you have ideas for a DP have a great day Good morning, DP, and happy Friday. We made it through another awesome week here at DP, and it's been just a really good one. So thank you all for just the amazing community you've, you've developed here on campus, and I'm just so happy to be a part of it. With that being said, I do have one quick announcement for you today. Um, if you got a parking permit through the welcome packet, you need to pick that up today at lunch in the EPAC. We've had them available in the EPAC. Uh, at lunch every day this week and so if you have a if you need a student parking permit and you signed up for one in the welcome packet uh, you need to come get that today at lunch it's the last day to do that so uh, you're like oh well you know what happens if I don't have a parking permit well you could get a ticket I also have a boot you don't want to get a boot on your car okay so make sure that you come pick up your student parking permit today in the EPAC at lunchtime thanks DP and enjoy your weekend see you Monday